All right, this is the trailer on the 2005 Ranger Z21. Uh, the trailer has a lot of uh, age on the paint. As you can tell, um, it's faded down. I've used a Meguiar's kit on it, which did a really good job um, a while back. I've got another video posted on that. But it didn't last very long at all, and it was right back to the same exact condition. So I'm going to try the Protect line of products today. As you can tell, the paint on the boat is, uh, is in great shape. Uh, but the trailer needs some help, so we'll see how it goes there. Just getting uh, some good footage here of all the, the really bad spots, and we'll take a look. Okay, so here is uh, a look at them after... Let's see, I've washed them, dried them, wet sanded with 1,000, 1,500, and then 2,000 grit. And then washed them off again and dried them. As you can tell, the wet sanding has definitely taken down the, the outside uh, layer here. Uh, so I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping for some good results. Um, Protec basically tells you to wash it with their wash and then uh, wet sand it and dry it and then go back with a new paint moisturizer and let that sit for a while and then put a buffer to it um, and then go back with a good sealant and so um, we're gonna let this dry really good I dry it off with a towel but I'm gonna let it dry really good and put the moisturizer on it let the moisturizer go for 30 45 minutes and then do it uh, uh, go with the next steps Okay, everyone, so this is the latest update, um, so you can get a look at it. You know, I've still got spots here, like I said, where there's just not a lot of um, gel coat left. Um, but I am at the point right now where I have just used uh, the New Tech Moisturizer. I let it sit for an hour. I came back and I took a um, Harbor Freight uh, dual action polisher with a wool pad on it and use the uh, new paint moisturizer um, and came through and buffed the uh, the entire fender with it and um, as you can tell um, it, it did a really good job um, it looks good you know like I said I'm not being unrealistic here you know I've got areas where there's it's just thin you know like you can tell there and the spot I showed you at the back and you know, there's a few areas like in here where it's you know it's it's just thin on paint but Overall, it's done a really good job. Now the instructions say that I'm supposed to take and wash this now um, with their uh, with their with their boat wash, uh, which I will do, and then let it dry, and then I'm supposed to come through and apply their sealer. So I'll get you guys uh, a video after the sealer's on. But right now it's looking pretty good. All right, guys, this is after um, one coat of the uh, sealer polish. I've got this on and I let it sit and haze up and I just buffed it out. I just used a, uh, I put it on by hand. I used a, a towel to, to buff it out, but uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, and like I said, you know, this boat trailer's got some wear, so there are areas where it's, it's not great, but you can feel it's not as smooth in those areas. There's just not as much paint there, but, uh, but um, uh, all in all very good now my question will be I'm gonna get the second coat on tomorrow because watching their videos on YouTube uh, it looks like they say to give it a, a 24 hour time span before you put the second coat on so I'm gonna put another coat on tomorrow and uh, and do the other fender tomorrow and then I'll apply the second coat to it the day after and I will let this go for a few days to a week and uh, I'll post this video and then I'll do a follow-up um, to show you know how long it's lasting that's my big concern the uh, Meguiar's product that I used gave me similar results. It looked good, but uh, but literally within a week, it was right back to itself. So there was, even with wax and everything on it, it just didn't last. All right, take care.